Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. My name is Amethyst and today, as you can see, we are here on some more Wuthering Waves and today we're just going to be discussing essentially the game itself. I am from today, one week into playing the game, I am one week into gameplay and I am essentially going to be discussing with you my opinions on what I think of the game based on about, I'd say, 30 to 35 hours of gameplay. Um... As we are now um, on the one week mark since its release. The game has been out for one week. Um, and I must say, my first impressions of this game are 90% positive um, and 10% negatives. And the negatives are essentially mostly fixed now. Um, so yeah. I hope you guys enjoy this video. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's begin this. So essentially, the first thing I want to say about this game is it's absolutely beautiful. This game has treated me so well with its dynamic, with its feel. I love the dark and gritty feel of the story. I love the dark and gritty feel of the world. I love essentially everything this world has to offer. I think the scenery, like even looking at it now, I think the scenery is amazing. I think the world itself is beautiful. I think the combat is probably the best combat I've played. Um, on any um, any open world gacha game, any gacha game period, even by RPG open world RPG standards, it's very 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 impressive. Um, I was talking to another content creator, Life Lessons. If you don't know who this guy is, he's a, he's amazing. Another um, gacha game um, content creator, and he was saying, and me and him were saying, um, I said to him, this game feels a lot like the recent Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy 16. Um, it feels a lot like Final Fantasy 16. The combat feels very much Final Fantasy 16 esque, and he actually came back with a counter argument and said. It feels more like Final Fantasy 15 and Final Fantasy 16, um, which was a very, 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 very interesting point because I've never actually played played Final Fantasy 16, uh, 15. I played 16, um, the recent one that came out last summer, and I actually said um, the combat of 16 is very similar to that of Wuthering Waves, in my opinion. Um, and he said he sees my point, but he actually compares it more to Final Fantasy XV. Um, but overall, I just think this game has so much to offer, has so much potential. We're a week in. I think the exploration has been outstanding. The world itself is beautiful. Each enemy, each echo, each tacit discord you encounter is different and fight different. Each time you encounter a brand new tacit discord, especially the bosses, each fight feels different. The boss fights are difficult to an extent. It takes an element of skill, um, and I think the combat in this game is one of the best I've played in any um, gacha game. And yeah, uh, I, I think this game has potential to be the best open world gacha game of all time. Yes, I do think it will surpass Genshin. Um, those who don't know, I recently acquired this information. This game has made $40 million worldwide across mobile and PC in its first week. Bearing in mind, Yin Lin is still two weeks away. We haven't even reached Yin Lin's release. And this game has made $40 million. Look it up if you don't believe me. $40 million is what this game has made as of recording this, worldwide. Now, to put that into perspective, not a lot of gacha games have made 40 million worldwide um, in their first month, let alone their first week. So, Kuro Games needs a round of applause for that. Um, I think the story overall is, I'd say, decent. It's okay, I'm still yet to finish the story because I've been so busy playing the Towers um, of Adversity. I was exploring, I'm still exploring now. I have two accounts. Um, my original account is free to play plus and this account is strictly free to play. There is nothing paid about this account. Um, 
On my other account, I acquired Jan on my first temple. I have a Verena and I have a Kalkaro. Um, on this account, as you can see, I just have Kalkaro. Um, I essentially used the f um, the five star selector ticket, not the five star selector banner. I used the ticket to get Kalkaro instantly, just like that, just so I can play the game, enjoy the game with a five star of my choice instead of having to use the base roster. Um, I have each and every one of my uh, convenes. I haven't wasted any of these since I played the game. I, I've still got my 20 pulls. Um, I selected the Broadblade for Calcaro, the 5-star Lustrous Razor Broadblade for Calcaro. Um, I still have my Novice Convene, which means I'm still yet to get my 5-star Selector. And I did a YouTube poll for my YouTube audience, for my current subscribers, um, for which 5-stars I should basic, basically select. The first place was Calcaro, so we used the ticket to get Calcaro. And second place was Jian Shin. So if we don't get Jian Shin in this beginner banner, the novice convene in the five star selector banner, Jian Shin will be who we select to summon for. Third place was Encore. So even if we get an Encore in this novice convene, um, the next five star selector banner that I choose after the novice convene will be Jian Shin. Uh, and if we get Jian Shin in this novice convene, Encore will be my five star selector pick. So either or, these two characters um, are the next two characters that I will be looking for. If I get Jian Shin, Encore will be the next character I get. If Encore is the character I get in this novice convene, Jian Shin will be the next five star character I get. I could get a Verena, which I don't want. I'm not interested in Verena. I could get a Ling Yang. Um, that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Um, but I have saved each and every one of these completely free to play and I'm still um, exploring as you can see on my complete free to play YouTube um, account um, I have not finished the exploration I've gone to all the towers like all of these little checkpoints all up here down here um, there's a cup there's one I need here that I still need to get there's a couple here but this is story locked I need to do it um, uh, a world like mini story to get to this boss which will then enable me to unlock um, the other two um, pillars I need one here one there like so overall the progression and the exploration is going really really well those who do not know if you click on the compass here it will actually tell you um, what percentage of exploration you're in in different parts of the world as you can see the Gorge of Spirits is my um, highest explored area with completing the resonance beacons this, um, the casket some 50% on chests some 60% on blob flies I haven't done the blob flies and the viewpoints I am 100% on um, but yeah the exploration ridiculously fun could not recommend it enough i am having such a good time just chilling talking to my friends um who are either also playing this game or playing something completely different um i'm just chilling and talking and just having fun on this game um but going back to the story i think the voice acting overall is decent um i think scar's voice actor and scar's character is when the story picks up i've just finished the point where you on this account i've just got up to the part where you're talking about the black lamb and the shepherd um and i'm just about to meet the magistrate um the high magistrate in the um in the main city um on my other account i've got a little bit further i've just completed act two so i'm just behind on this account um but i'm doing a story walkthrough for my youtube audience since that's what they wanted um echoes um, I think the ecosystem is absolutely outstanding. I think this system, Chef's Kiss, I think it's such a good twist on the monster catching relic building system. I think this is going to go a long way. Um, I have um, I have two set piece um, Sonata effect and two set piece um, Void Thunder um, with the lingering tunes. Um, for the attack percent increase and the um, electro damage increase 
um, I think for now, until I get the best relics possible, um, these are the sets that I will be running for most of my characters until I get to endgame and then I can grind for now. I just want to enjoy the story, enjoy the exploration, um, and not worry too, too much about my builds yet. Um, obviously, I have been running into bosses um, from time to time. I got a good Bellborn um, here with my crit rate here. Um, I got a purple uh, Geohide with Glacio damage and attack, which is okay. Um, I got, I've got i been grinding a few Crownless in my spare time. Um, but other than that, I've just been exploring and collecting Echoes as I, as I come. I've got um, a couple of good um, Herons. Um, like, so overall, I'm having a lot of fun grinding the exploration and grinding the Echoes. I think the Echo system is so good. Um, one of the good things I want to say about this game is that Kuro Games has done an amazing job at making this game free-to-play friendly. This game is remarkably free-to-play friendly. If you're a new player, I'd say now, or if you're considering playing the game now, if you have a PC, or even if you have a tablet or mobile that is of recent generation mobiles, so if it's above, I'd say, Pixel 7 status, or one of basically a new phone within the past year to two years max. If you're considering playing this game, I recommend you do so now because this game is very free to play friendly and I don't know how long these rewards are going to last for, um, but they are really, 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 really good. Um, you guys need to get on this game now. Um, it's so fun, free to play friendly. The gameplay is some of the most fun I've had in a long time. I'm addicted to this game on stream and on YouTube. This is my main source of um, content content at the moment. Um, this video is going to be my essentially just first like seven days playing the game. So my first week impressions. Um, and yeah, th this, this game has been outstanding. Everything about it is just phenomenal. All is fair in war. I'm just having such a good time. I think the combat is so satisfying. I think the characters are really in depth. I think the voice acting at times are a little bit bumpy. But overall, I think it's a solid, solid game. Um, ratings, I would give it a solid 8 to 8.5 out of 10. Um, I think this game has a lot more potential. I, and this is based on what I've currently done. I haven't fully explored. I haven't I haven't finished the story. So, um, my... Oh, didn't mean to do that. Um, so my impressions of this game are probably going to go up and increase. Um, but let me know down below what you guys think of this game. I think I've... I think I've covered everything. Or as much as I possibly can cover right now um i still didn't get it bastards um but yeah i do recommend you guys jumping on this game this is a very good gacha game very free to play friendly very easy to get into um it's very easy to get into if you're a content no if you're if you're a guy that loves plenty of content um this game has lots of it upon launch and there's more coming in 1.1 um and what um and i'm sure they're going to add lots of end game content we have um the towers of adversity and i believe if i go to events there's depths of illusion which is essentially to me i haven't played it but it's essentially the um simulated universe that's the closest thing i can compare it to you've got the seven the first seven day logging bonuses um, look, Tower of Adversity is giving away Yuan Wu as a free 5 star. You've got character stories. You've got um, union level progression. If you get to 45, you get you get a free 5 star rep weapon of your choice. Um, so I do thoroughly suggest that if you're a fan of the Final Fantasy combat of the recent games, um, of the recent games like 15 and 16, um... If you're a fan of gacha games and if you're an anime fan, this game is right up your alley and I think you very much should dive deep into this game. I don't think I've missed anything else. Um, obviously, you've got the battle pass here. 
um, which is really, really good. The rewards you get are very, very, um, very, very good. Um, you get free Lustrous Tides. If you get the Premium Battle Pass, you get a free four-star weapon of your choice. And um, Lustrous Tides, which are the Premium Pools. The weapons you can receive are good weapons. Are good weapons. If you want a good weapon, these weapons are good from the Battle Pass. If you want to be a light spender... Um, battle pass and the login um, daily pass, the supply pass are two good purchases for you guys to invest in if you just want to spend light cash, a little bit of spare money, I recommend you do so um, I will be buying the battle pass down the road for now, it's strictly free to play but down the road I will be getting the battle pass and I will be getting the Stannard for Yuan Wu as it will be attack and crit rate when resonance skill was released increase the caster's resonance liberation damage by 18 percent lasting for 15 seconds i think this will be a good weapon and i think the broad blade again is a very good weapon um but we're not here talking about weapons we're here talking about the game in general um i think graphically as well this game is beautiful to look at i think um graphically is again one of the best one of the best looking gacha games out there this is on unreal engine so it will look better than a unity game like genshin um because genshin and honkai star rail are on unity or a altered version of unity this game is unreal engine um, 5 I believe I think I it's use it to the full. I think it's Unreal Engine 5 this is on um, but really quick tip as well if you want to enhance your graphics even more if you go to the settings menu and go to brightness so brightness at the start of the game is about here if I show you this is the game when you first download and install the game graphics look good graphics looks really good as you can see it looks decent. If you go to settings and lower your brightness down, all the way down, confirm, look at the difference. Look at the difference. It's a no-brainer. If you are starting out on the game and want to enhance your graphics and enhance your the look and visual visuals of your game, Keep your fangs shut. Um, I would suggest turning your brightness all the way down. Some say turn it down by 25%. I personally say turn it all the way down. I think I think that's the best thing you can do um, to enhance um, your game graphically. Um, but that's just my opinion. Um, not everyone's going to agree with me on that. Um, but it will make a difference. Misery follows. So cool. Um, again, combat is amazing. Um, you guys really need to uh, really need to appreciate everything Kira Games have done here because I think they've forged themselves a fantastic game um, with very very good servicing. And those those who don't know what I mean by that, Kura Games is always going to be on it for updates. Within the first week, there have been bugs and they have cracked down on the bugs. Um, they have fixed 80 to 90% of the bugs that people were experiencing, me included, upon launch. Um, and they're not slowing down. They are constantly compensating you for any bug that people uh, vocalize and people say they experienced. Um, so, yeah. Um, I, I, I suggest you go show Cura Games some love. Um, appreciate the game they forged. I mean, look how beautiful this game looks. This is by far graphically one of the best gacha games I've played. Period. Easily. And, I, and I, it's not even close. It's not even close. Um, but that's my first weak impressions of Wuthering Waves. I've probably missed a few things, which is fine. Um... Uh, but yeah, that will be my first week impressions of Wuthering Waves based on the first week of the game. I hope you guys enjoyed my review um, of Wuthering Waves. It's not everything. I haven't gone down to the nitty gritty um, of Wuthering Waves and what the game is capable of. However, I did want to give you my 
um, loose thoughts on as many of the features as possible that I have noticed and maybe my opinion will sway your opinion if you guys haven't downloaded the game yet and if you guys have downloaded the game yet let me um, let me know if you agree with my points or disagree with my points and thank you so much for watching I'll see you guys in the next one take it easy everyone